evening, everyone, and welcome to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium on the campus of Ottawa Glandorf High School as tonight the Ottawa Glandorf Titans welcome in the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Scott Mag and our entire WSN crew. And, Scott, we take a look at the matchup tonight. And it doesn't matter what the records is. Everybody in the area watches this game every year, and it's always a great contest. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, these, these teams go way back. Uh, <laughs> it started in the early 80s uh, to one team knocking the other out of uh, – tournament and uh, it, it's been a rivalry for a long long time yeah, it's, it's almost got like it's the premier private school program against one of the premier public school programs in the northwest ohio yeah absolutely and there's been a lot of wars that uh were in this gym as well as <laughs> yeah, Lima senior I, I, yeah i was a part of a few of them yes sir uh, some on the good side and some on the disappointed <laughs> side you, you are correct well we take a look at lima central catholic the visitors they come in at three and three and they got a late start, obviously, because of the success of the football program, Scott. Offensively, they're putting up 59 points a game. Not a problem. Defensively is where they're struggling at 58 a game. Yeah, and that's, you know, it, and it's really, that's kind of a catch-22. Normally, it's backwards. Normally, your right, defense right. is before your offense. And uh, unfortunately for the T-Birds, it's, it's the other way around. And I think part of that is, is uh, they're mixing in some young kids, playing with some older guys, and they maybe don't need, know each other as well as they had and and you know with football the run and maybe they didn't have a long summer to get to play so maybe uh, I think that's part of it if not really being able to get a lot of practice minutes uh, you know because you start late you're playing the games you're not getting you're not setting three or four days yes, in practice right. and learning stuff it's pretty much you're putting in things for the team you play and you're not really working on hey that our base defense man-to-man -man, and working on man-to-man -man, uh, principles. We take a look at the home standing Titans. Ottawa Glandorf, the state runner up from a year ago. They come in at seven and two, but what a gauntlet they've played already. The two losses are to Lutheran West, which is a premier program in the state, and Cincinnati Princeton, which we know is a much bigger school than Ottawa Glandorf. Let's surmise their season so far. Yeah, absolutely. And Titans, you know, they, uh, Titan, uh, Tyson said at the beginning of the year at the parent meeting said that they were, uh, their uh, schedule, they were uh, putting it up. So, the, And I think part of that is for their tournament run. Sure, sure. Absolutely. Let's take a look at our starting lineups tonight for the visitors from Lima Central Catholic. They'll start a sophomore, Carson, or a junior, excuse me, Carson Parker at 13.7 a game. Sophomore, Matthew Quabbin at 7.2 a game. Freshman, Willie Foster, comes in at 12 points a game. Parker Judy is a junior at 7.3. And Billy Bork is a junior at 9.8 a game. They are coached by Frank Kill. Assistant coaches Troy Parker and Craig Mack. Ottawa Glandorf comes in, as I said before, at 7-2. And, and they'll start Grant Schroeder, 6'1 junior at 4.3 a game. Theo Mag is a 6'7 senior at 15.4 a game. Hunter Stickshold is a 6'2 senior at 7.9 a game. Colin White, 6'6 junior at 18 a game. And Caden Erford, 6'4 junior at 11 points a game. So we are ready and I've been waiting for this game all week, Scott. I mean, <laughs> since Christmas was over, I've been yeah. waiting for this game all yeah, week. Yeah, it, it should be a good one. And, and again, you can throw out the records that you mentioned earlier. Uh, both these teams uh, give each, each school their best. And so I, I'm looking forward to a good one here tonight. So we are just about underway. Our officials tonight are Matt Mosier, Stephen McRae, and Matt Carafa. So Titans will get the ball. This is Hunter Stick showing with the ball. They'll kick it over. Colin White at the top of the perimeter, spins around, was going to take the shot, kicks it back out. There's a dribble drive to the middle. Ball is up, rebound by Mag. He goes straight back up, left hand, and it puts it in. Theo Mag, the 6'7 senior, gets the deuce, and he gives the Titans the 2-0 lead. And this is, this is what the Titans want. They want to get made baskets, and they put in their various pressures, uh, presses and, and, and try to speed up the T-Birds and every team they play because, again, in this, in this environment, in this court, if you don't have patience and, and uh, uh, I guess, sure. poise here yeah, at, the, at the Supreme Court, this place eats you up. This is number 14, Foster, for the Titans as he tries to go up the dribble drive, and he misses the shot. Will they put a lot of pressure on Foster tonight, you think, Scott, with him being a freshman? Yeah, I think so. They're going to get, again, and they're not only going to put pressure on him on the on the defensive end, but the Titans are going to put pressure on him when they're coming back the other way. They're going to want to get up the court, so Foster's going to have to do a good job getting back. We got a foul on the play. That'll send Grant Schroeder to the line. He'll shoot two. Grant Schroeder, a 6'1 junior, averaging 4.3 a game. He misses the first one. It goes off the side of the rim. 
Our scoreboard sponsor is presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of structure pergola. Ultimate Outdoor, the vision of all seamless spouting. Ultimate Outdoor is our scoreboard sponsor. He knocks in that one. He gives the Titans the early 3-0 lead. Titans are in pressure right off the bat here. Yeah, they love this 2-2-1. And they pretty much get all five guys in the half court and really try to make you throw it up the sideline. And what they want to do, as soon as you get across that half court, they want to get a, a trap. But good job by LCC to kind of lull them to sleep and attack that middle. And you look at LCC and, and we talk about their starters and they've got three kids right around the 10 point area. But their problem right now is they're not getting a lot of scoring out of their bench. You look at the bench and they've got three at 2.5, 3.5 and 3.3. So if they wear them down, you think that the school is, the thought is, let, you know, let's get deep into that bench. Yeah, absolutely. And they're doing a good job here defensively. There, anytime the ball goes in, they're sending two or three guys down to the post. Ball goes out of bounds, go back to the Titans. Offensively, Ottawa Glandorf is averaging 66.4 a game, defensively giving up 42 a game. They've won their last two. They've lost two, as I said earlier, Cincinnati Princeton and Lutheran West. There's a jumper from the foul line. They'll go off the rim. Rebound comes down to Mag. He's going to take it back up. A strong left hand, and it goes off the right side. This is Parker with the rebound. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor. He'll take it straight up, and he knocks it in. Carson Parker. The junior at 13.7 a game with a nice rebound, and he goes the length of the floor, and he makes it 3-2 on the structure scoreboard. And, and Parker's this really strong athlete, he, he, you know, from the football team, and he did a lot of good things there as well. Colin White misses the jumper. And not real sure, but Coach Kill is did not like that. When you could hear it up there, he didn't like it. He said no. <laughs> the crowd, <laughs> they like Coach Kill's reaction, and Coach Kill's smiling now. <laughs> The official walked over and talked to him. And, not going to change anything. <laughs> He's going to foul. I think the foul is on Theo Mag. I think, You're for right. a push. And I think Coach Kill didn't like because he had a fast break. Right. This is Mag again as he misses the shot. Another shot missed. Billy Bork with the rebound. They'll get it out to Foster. Foster will bring it down the middle of the floor. He'll kick it out to Bork. Bork at the top of the key. Ottawa Glandorf in there, man-to-man -man defense. This is Foster, dribble drive to the middle, tried to go left-handed, and Theo Mag says, not today, young man, not today. <laughs> As the six, seven senior swats it away. Yeah, and <laughs> with very long arms. And yes, he, he can, does. He can cover a lot of ground with those long arms. This is Parker with the ball. Carson Parker, the quarterback for the football team. The all-everything athlete at Lima Central Catholic. And he can do it all, rebound, shoot. He's a really, really nice player. Yes, as well as a football player. Absolutely. He was absolutely. a very good good job of Colin White jumping in a passing lane there. Unfortunately, he got out of bounds. We've got, we've got royalty all over the floor tonight, including the officials. you got Matt Mosier from Liberty Benton fame. You've also got Matt Carafa, who was, uh, according to Todd Walker, a walk on at Bowling Green State University. So Yeah. If a 5-on-5 if a five five breaks out, we, we'd have a good game. Right. <laughs> They'll push the ball down to Bork. His he takes it up nice left move. And he knocks it in. He's going to get a foul on Dave Westrick. That is his first. That was a great move by Bork. He got his shoulder square to the pass. He kind of gave a little shimmy there, and he went left, and then came back right and finished with his left hand. That was a heck of a move. Both clubs right now are trying to push it down to the paint. Bork yep. goes to the line. And he knocks it in. He gets the old-fashioned three, and he gives the Birds the 5-3 lead <clears throat> on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So here come the Titans down 5-3, 5.05 to go. Danny Holbrook, Scott Mag from the Supreme Court at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Three ball on the way from the left side, and it's good. Caden Erford knocks down the Dales Concrete three-point. Called Dales Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Foster just super fast. It just dribbled right fast, but he stopped. There's a steal from Cotton White, and he slams it home. White gets the steal, and he slams it home. And that upsets Coach Kill. Well, he's telling have. Foster the same thing. He did a heck of exactly. a job. He, he squared up and got by, but then what happened is he stopped on the other side of half court, and that's what Coach Kill is not happy about. But that's, you know, that's a freshman sure. mistake. He's a senior, he ain't gonna stop there. He knows what's coming. And, and OG is gonna stay in that pressure. It's Absolutely. working effectively right now as they are giving Foster all kinds of fits. And they'll try to break the pressure. 
get to the half court and they get it across. And that's the difference between Foster and Quatman there. He was smart and he split the double team and got the ball in the middle of the court. Shot so goes heck up. of a it's shot good. by Parker, Carson, Parker there. Carson yeah. Parker, yeah. He is really strong in the middle of that paint, is he not? <laughs> wow, that was steal. impressive. Goes out of bounds and goes back to Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, again, Carson Parker, who's, you look at, He's just solid all around, and yeah. he can really get up, and he's so athletic. And the thing is, Titans kind of try to push him off, off the line, right. but he just is so strong. He got right there as LCC subs in Cutlip. Payne Cutlip, the senior, in for LCC. Ball goes into the paint. Shot goes up, and it's good. Westrick knocks it down for another deuce, and he gives the Titans the 10-7 lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. They'll stay in that pressure. Bork tries to swing the ball around as he is under heavy pressure. Foster tries to go to the middle, and they're going to get a timeout. Time yep. Coach Kill's going to get a timeout. They'll take a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSC. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School. We're at 3.46 to go in the first quarter. We have a 10-7 game. The Titans lead the T-Birds. And it's been all about their defensive pressure right now as they are giving LCC all kinds of fits. They kind of fall back, and they stay in that man-to-man. -man. Yep. Foster tries to go to the left side, and he kicks it back out to Quatman. Quatman was a very good football player. He did a lot of things. He was a receiver. He was a linebacker. He was all over the field, and he's uh, got the tough assignment to guard in, uh, Colin White tonight. And we've got a great matchup here with Billy Bork for Lima Central Catholic. They'll go back into Bork. Goes to his left. And they're going to say we got a push yeah. on number 10. That's Brad, Brad Mag. Mm -hmm. Brad Mag, 6'2 senior. Yeah, I think Bork thought he was just going to spin past him. Uh, yeah, I was thinking Brad Mag's like, you ain't moving me out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Mag just kind of got his hips separated there and yeah. pushed back a little bit. But you see Bork calling for the ball again. Yeah. They'll go back inside. A nice play, but they missed the reverse layup. I think Colin White might have got a piece of that one. I think you're right. White will bring it down to the middle. He goes against Quatman. He takes it up left hand and kicks it in. A nice move by Colin White as he just went to the left side, and he made Matthew Quatman pay for that. Yeah. And he knocks it in. He gives the Titans the 12-7 lead. Yeah. Good job by Foster to understand, to get himself away from that sideline there. There's a good Parson. take by Parker. Yeah. He misses the shot. They get the rebound. They'll kick it back out. They'll go back into Bork. The pressure is just unrelenting right yes. now as they're getting their hands on every dribble. Ball goes back to LCC. So with 2.38 to go, the Titans continue to lead 12 to 7. And Danny Hobart, Scott Mag from the Supreme Court here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Hope you had a great holiday season. Glad to be back on the air here. Good job by those two guys that came in off the bench. Mag and uh, Westrick gave them some good quality minutes, good defense, and, and Westrick got himself two points. That so was good minutes by the subs there for the Titans. So this is Foster. He'll back out to Carson Parker as he goes to the middle and kicks it back out. They look for Parker a lot, yes, do they, they do. not, Scott? They, do. they, they sure do. do. And, and, and Billy Bork, in, Bork inside because, you know, he's got some oh, good moves. He does. You're absolutely right. And they'll go back into Carson Parker. And yeah, a nice job. Carson Parker seals off Levi Utter yeah. Underbrink. And really a good job of using his offhand. Yeah. And he scores to make it 12-9. Right. And he's so good with his legs. You know, the ball goes out of bounds, and they're going to say that the ball bounce. went off of LCC. Yeah, Matt Mosier good. points back to Ottawa Glendorf. And, and Parker's not, you know, he's so strong that, uh, you know, he got position and he held held the defender where he wanted. They threw it over the top, and he scored. That was an easy basket. Well, it was yeah, a heck of a post up there by you're Parker. You're right. Once he saw that his yes. foot was in the paint, he yeah. knew he had the backside sealed. So right, a great right. job. A great job there. Absolutely. <clears throat> Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. This is White again. He'll kick it back out. Three ball on the way. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Parker as he runs the break. Gets it out to Quatman on the right side. Quatman takes it up, and he misses everything. Nice. But he's going to be fouled on the play. I didn't see who was there. Uh, Grant Schrader. And uh, he was there, but I think if he didn't swat down, he might have got away. You know, might not have got a foul right. call, yeah. but he kind of tried to swat down on it. And they're going to call that every time. Grant Schrader's first foul. That's yep. out of Glendorf's fourth team foul. 
Quatman will go to the line and shoot two as he knocks in the first one. So LCC keeping it close here in the first quarter yeah. at 12 to 10. And that's really, if you're Coach Kill, that's what you have to do. you got to keep this game close well, as the game goes on. And it's it's their pace, right? They're, yes, they're, absolutely. They're taking 30, 40 seconds off. Um, with the possessions, they're not making this attract me where the Titans kind of want to go up and down, shoot early. Here comes White as he drives in. The ball Good is stolen steal by Quatman. Quatman yep. will lead the break down Good the hands. right side. He goes up, and he knocks it in, and a nice job by Quatman as he goes to the rim, and he makes it a 12-12 game. He's a tough kid. He's a tough defender, man. He got his hands right there. He's not going to back down, believe me. He's tired, though. I, I could see him looking up like I need some breast. This is Mag with the ball in the middle. He turns, goes up and under, left-handed, misses off the back iron. Rebound comes down to Parker. He outlets to Quatman. Quatman's ahead of everybody. White and got seven. Colin White blocks the shot on the left side. And I thought Quatman had a clear layup. Colin White comes over and makes the block. And there's the ball again. This is Willie Foster as he picks up the loose ball. And now we've got a lot of movement here as both teams struggling to make a basket. Yep. 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. All knotted up at 12. Hunter's. Willie Foster out top. Yeah, Hunter Stexley almost had that one. He <laughs> shot the lane and wanted to get it. Foster takes the shot and it goes off the side of the backboard. Good hustle. Ball goes up and knocks Just it out in. out hustling him right now. You're absolutely right. That was 44 for the Titans. Or excuse me, for the T-Birds. My roster, I don't have a 44 yeah. on my roster. Do you have that? I do not. I do not have that. I apologize for that young man. We don't have his name on our roster. But he knocks it in, and he gives yeah, the Birds the 14-12 lead. I think that's Sal Juente, I think. Well, they've got him listed at number 40 in yep. our program here, so let's just say hopefully that is him. Yeah. He's got a big smile on his face. He's pretty happy right now. But they've got a 40 over on the bench over there, so. And here comes 42. Yeah. This is Frank Hauser. This is Frank Hauser for the Birds as he comes in the game. He's not even on our yeah, roster. Yeah, I was going to say, we don't even have him on yeah. our roster, folks. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll do the best we can here. Another free throw goes up. Another Lee's famous recipe free throw. That's Theo Mag. Because Mag will take a seat on the bench, get a breather here right before the end of the first quarter, and knocks it up 14-14 from here in Ottawa Glendorf High School. End of the game now for Ottawa Glendorf. Number 12, Levi Underbrink comes back in the game. I think if you would have said before the game, hey, Coach Kill, would you be okay with being tied at the end of the first quarter? And he'd say hey, absolutely, and all of a sudden the, they turn the ball over. Yeah, another turnover for the yeah, Birds. That's Titans are going to sub in Mag and White, of course, to get the last shot here. 42 Brady Malcolm for the yeah. Birds as he tried to dribble through the pressure and uh, got caught up and kind of walked a few steps there. I so, think that's uh, Frank Hauser is what they said on the announcement. Right. But I don't know. We, we're just guessing here. <laughs> Sorry, young man. This is Erford with the ball. He'll go over to White on the left side. He goes up to the left side, goes up, and he knocks it in. Yeah. And a strong move by Colin White. And he gives the Titans the 16-14 lead. Willie Foster with the heave. And that'll do it for the first quarter from Ottawa Glendorf High School. After one quarter, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans lead the line of Central Catholic Thunderbirds 16-14 here on WOSN. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School. We're after one quarter, the Titans lead the T-Birds 16 to 14. And it was all about pressure that quarter, Scott, yeah. as Ottawa Glendorf really got after him. Yeah, and, and OG forced four turnovers. Um, and, and they and they forced some quick shots. Um, but give LCC, LCC credit. They did slow it down. They bought, got it inside to Billy Burke. He did a couple good things. Uh, they got a couple offensive rebounds. I got them down for two. But they're five of ten, and they're within two. And I think they... You know, they took, the Titans took LCC's best shot right there, man, I'm telling you. Absolutely. This is Colin White. So kick it back out. Three's on the way, and it's good. Caden Erford, the 6'4 junior, knocks down the triple, and that's another Dale's concrete three-point shot. This is Parker on the break, kicks it over, and that it's That was great good. passing there. Nice job by number 24, Michael Tafflinger, running yeah. the break on the left side as he gets the reward, and he knocks in the two. And you could tell they worked on that because it was like they didn't dribble it up, they passed it up. 
Hunter Stecksholdy trying to answer. Stecksholdy with a missed three on the left side. It'll come down to the birds. This is Quatman with the ball. Quatman is guarded out front by Grant Schrader. Seven ten to go. Titans lead 19-16. And now they're going to double team Quatman out top. They're going to get a steal. This is Mag as he kicks it over to the left side. And a nice left-handed layup by number three for the Titans. Grant, Grant Schrader. Schrader. Yeah, great this job by one junior. Yeah, Theo Mag. Now, I'm sure Tyson doesn't want his six seven <laughs> center leading the break, but that was a pretty good job of Mag putting it on the floor and he throwing did it ahead. He a great job. You're absolutely and there's yeah. another steal, steal at midcourt. Three ball from the left side. It's good. Number 21, Hunter Stecksholdy, the 6'2 senior, knocks in the triple. And that is another Dales concrete three-point. And that ups the lead to 24-16. And here come the Titans in the pressure. And they missed the on the right side. Bork gets the rebound, but the pressure from Mag as he missed the, the running layup. You can see where this pressure is causing problems for the T-Birds as... And Parker. Parker gets fouled by Stexler. That would be his first. Kind of a bail out there. Yeah. Parker grabs the ball and is fading away, and mm -hmm. it'll advise shot, but he is fouled by number 21, Hunter Stexler, the 6'2 senior. Oh, they're going to get they give the, the foul to Mag. No. I, is that what they said? They said, but I don't. They, they batted on the board, but that's his second foul, but that, there's he wasn't anywhere near the play. No. It was Stexler, I think. Absolutely. And that's going to force the Titans yeah. to set Theo Mag down. And, and Scott, I got to be honest, he was nowhere near the no. play. No, he wasn't. He was underneath the basket. Unless he called him with a push, I'm not sure. No, the foul was called yeah, on the shot. I believe because so. Parker, because Parker's shooting it. Yeah, he's, he's shooting the two shots. Yeah, I don't, and he knocks down one. two. Yep. The Lee's famous recipe, free throw line. Here come the Titans up 24-18. They try to go down to the baseline. This is Colin White. He goes to the baseline, spins around. He's going to be fouled as he goes up for the shot. They're going to say he was a hold on the floor, and they'll take it out under the basket. So you see the pressure that Colin White puts on the defenders yeah, but as he I, spins to the middle. I'm telling you, Quatman, we don't have no heights, but he, he he's definitely not as tall as White, but he is giving everything he got. He absolutely is. He is muscling and muscling and muscling. There's another lease, or excuse me, another three. Dale's concrete three, and it's good. Caden Nerford, the 6'4 junior, knocks down another triple, and Bork almost has the ball stolen as he kicks it out to Foster on the left side. Foster tried to go to the middle. The ball was deflected. Rickers, yeah, by Westrick there. Yeah, and it went up and hit the back of the backboard. Well, so, I think, yeah, it hit the wire that yes, the, yes. The, the belt there to put it up, so that's automatically out of bounds. So 5.39 to go. The Titans lead 27-18. They'll take it out underneath the basket. This is Parker, a little jumper from the foul line as he knocks it in. Caden nice Parker with a nice shot, and he keeps the birds alive at 27-20. Here come the Titans. And out of control there. Absolutely, and here come the birds as they get the rebound. An ill-advised shot by the Titans. This is Willie Foster on the right side. They miss, they miss Parker in the post again. He had position. And Parker dribbles it off his foot and goes out of bounds, and they'll go back to the Titans. Turnover number seven. It was guarded tightly there by Caden Erford, and what a great matchup of two really good athletes on the perimeter. And Coach Kill just looked at Caden Parker and said, you've got to settle down when you've got the ball down that low. And I think he, I think he had an advantage. He, he just did. tried to do too much with the basketball. That's just not the way he is. He just, he's a guy that he's kind of an old school, right? He wants to get in the post. He wants to go up and under. He's going to shoot over you. Colin White has the ball stolen by Parker. They go nice. to the bench. They'll back nice to give Parker. give and go. That's great basketball right That's unselfish basketball right there. And it was all started a, by Parker as he yes. gets the steal, and he runs the floor, and they reward him right. with the deuce. And it was a good job, but he gave it up early, yes. allowed the, the Quatman to dribble it two times, and then give it up back to him. And a great job by Colin White as he dishes to Dave Westrick, and the 6'6 junior knocks in the deuce to make it 29-22 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Here come the birds as they continue with that pressure on the offensive end as they keep going to the rim and they get another deuce to make it 29-24. So back and forth we go. And this is Colin White as he kicks it back out. This is Erford from three land. It's off the oh, mark. in and out. Rebound comes down uh -huh. to the bird. Good hustle by Quatman. Oh my gosh, Billy Burke just died for that one too. Great hustle by those young men. 
And right now, Oh, Scott, wow. Right they are now, selling yeah, out, man. You're absolutely right. Right now, Lima Central Catholic is in this game because of their heart and desire, and they're playing really hard. Oh, man, they're, they're giving everything they got. I, 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 I'm impressed by their effort right now. You, you wouldn't think that by the effort these guys are got, they're three and three. Absolutely. Well, you, playing so hard. Ball goes back inside. Dave Westreet knocks it in, the 6'6 junior. And he gives the Titans the 31-24 lead with four minutes to go here in this until halftime. We try to go back into Parker. He oh, gets wow. a rebound and kick, puts it back up, and it goes off the side of the rim. Here come the Titans. They'll go down the right side. They'll go back into Erford. Erford takes it up, and he knocks it in again. Caden Erford, the 6'4 junior. As he extends that lead to 33-24, there's a steal. This is White, slams it home. Colin White with his second slam dunk of the night, and they'll call a timeout. We'll take a timeout in the booth with 3.32 to go. The Titans lead 35-24. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School where the Titans lead 35-24. And Scott, this game is becoming a, a, a game of runs yeah. as you're watching each team continue to attack the rim. But the pressure from Ottawa Glendorf in the last minute and a half has really got to LCC. Well, part of it is, is Coach Kill is talking to his freshman point guard. I know when he was coming off, he said, <laughs> looked right at him and said, you can't do that. It's kind of like a, being a, uh, a football quarterback. You can never throw a late across the middle that's going to get intercepted. Same thing against this Titans 2-2-1 press. You can't throw a lazy pass across the two guys because somebody's going to step in and take it. Yeah, they're just so long. Right, and, and, and you can't, and he didn't put any pace on that. you got to attack up the sideline, go middle, and then attack. And you can't throw across, and you almost did it again. Here come the birds. They go up the right side. This is Bork as he tries to kick it down low. Foster grabs the loose ball. He is guarded out top by Levi Onobrink. He'll set up the T-Birds on offense. He'll go left side, take nice. it in, and a nice wow. move by Willie Foster. As you saw right there, he turns the Jets on, yeah. and that young man is cat quick. He's got a little bit of juice in him, man. He, he, got, he got past that in a hurry. And Colin White goes to the middle. He makes the shot, and the, are they going to say it was good? Uh, I think so. I th I, yeah, Let's he's going to point down. Yes, sir. Yes, they say the bucket was good. Colin White goes to the middle. Yeah, Frank yeah. doesn't like it. Neither does LCC <laughs> contingent. No, they do not. No. So Colin White will go to the line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus is our sponsor for free throws tonight. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here as he misses the and one. Uh. LCC gets the rebound. Carson Parker is under heavy pressure. They'll kick it out to Willie Foster. Oh, a nice. Oh, oh my goodness. Woo. He did everything but make that. <laughs> that was a nice little <laughs> shake he had there for a freshman. How good is he going to be in three years? Ooh. Willie Foster sidesteps the defense, goes up with the right hand on the left side. This is Colin White as he knocks down the jumper. Thought he was fouled. He was guarded heavily by number 20, G Parker Judy. It, they'll go back up the other side, and that's Judy with the with the lay-in. He makes it 39-28. Yeah, Titans got to do a better job getting score. back, and I, I know Coach McLaughlin ain't happy about that. You can't score and then get lazy coming back. Two passes up to four for a layup. Coach ain't happy on that one, I know. But. This is White as he dribble drives to the free throw line. Little jumper, and he knocks it in, and he's fouled. Colin White, he knocks in the jumper, and he's going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe foul line again. So Colin White showing you why he is one of the premier players in Northwest Ohio. He's got 12 on the night as he attempts to get number 13. And he'll try to tie Caden Erford for honors on the scoreboard. Yeah, Cutler picked up his second. 2.19 to go. Ottawa Glendorf extends that lead to 42-28. Now we're in a danger zone for the Birds as they are down 42-28. They'll try to go long to Bork off the yeah. left side. He guarded by Colin White. They'll kick it out to Quatman, 2.13 to go. And it's kind of got away from them as we talked earlier. They, the first quarter was in their pace. Yes, exactly. Titans started to get some turnovers and got up and down and got some dunks and some threes, and the Titans started getting rolling, and, and that's not what LCC can't. I don't think they don't have enough to go with that. Quatman, Quatman goes misses, hard yeah, and gets fouled. Yeah. the shot and he's yeah. going to be fouled. I really like their offensive sets when they had Bork on the block and they were yeah. trying to go side to side and they were getting OG to, to respond by going to the opposite sides and, and it, it went away from that. 
Yeah, they did, and, and it, it's just been kind of one-on-one -on -one basketball, and that kind of hurt them a little bit. Um, they took a couple uh, contested tough shots, yes. and a lot of times those tough contested shots leads to run out easy baskets for the Titans, and uh, you know right now they're getting a break too. With the Quabbin will go to the line, our Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wampak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. He knocks down the first one. Quatman has five on the night. He makes it 42-29 with 1.53 to go. Big crowd on hand tonight, Scott, for the holiday festivities, the night before New Year's here. And didn't expect anything less from the OG faithful as they fill the rafters up tonight. JV game was won by the Titans, 66-42. And so they're trying to get the double-double for the Titan faithful here. They'll try to kick it into Colin White. As he kicks it back out to Erford, and it goes over top of him, and it'll go out of bounds, and it'll go back to the LCC T-Birds. Turnover number four for the Titans. And that was a good job by Quatman, too. He, he was down on the post with White, but he, he was physical enough to kind of push him off the block and made White kind of go away from uh, what he wanted to do, and he had to turn and fire the ball and, and force the turnover. This is Foster. as he, Erford knocks it down, and he takes it in on the left side, and he knocks it in. Erford gets his hands on the ball. He runs the floor, and they reward him with the bucket. And there's the heavy pressure, and it goes off of LCC, and it'll go back to Ottawa Glander. There's that pressure again, Yeah, it's turnover number 10. You, you just can't, you've got to stay off the sidelines, and, and especially because the Titans are coming. usually come with a trail trap or they're coming from the side. you just got to keep the ball inside the middle, inside these white volleyball lines because you go over on the right side or the left side by the OG markers or outside, the Titans are coming and trapping you. Here's Quatman guarding White. White goes off the right side, kicks it back out. Good job by Hunter Stexualty to kind of just Stexualty, look that one. That was nice a great, job. like, used his eyes to get the guy to jump, and he just went right around him. That was a great decision, and here's another turnover. The lost art of 15-foot jump shots, and Hunter Stexualty takes what the defense gives him, and he knocks it down. The ball goes out of bounds, and they'll go back to Ottawa Glendorf. Yeah, and, oh, no, they're going to say LCC gets yeah. the ball. Okay. And Frank's not happy with his, his freshman point guard because he, he kind of – and I don't know he's that they're afraid a little bit. It's like he's telling him, "Go, you can't be afraid." And you know, Foster's had a couple almost turnovers, so he's he's kind of being a little reluctant right now. Well, I like what you said earlier, Scott. This is an education for that yeah. young man, but he's yes. going to he's only going to get better. We you you watch him play, and he has all the characteristics of a really good point guard, and he's going to be just fine. Yeah, he is, and and you know, he's gonna he's gonna grow from this. He's gonna learn. I'm sure they're going to make some halftime adjustments. He just got to believe in himself. He's got enough shake and he's oh not enough stuff goodness. to get by somebody. <laughs> he just got to believe in his skills. And right now he's kind of doubting himself. And a lot of times young kids do that, right? Absolutely. They, they take that negative with them. He just got to forget about it and go on next play. Kick it back out. This is Erford with the ball. He spins around in the middle. And they'll Good kick help it back by out. Billy Burke. We'll go back out to Grant Schrader. This is Hunter Stecksholte with the ball. And a nice steal by Foster as he yeah. pokes the ball away. As he tries to go up. Oh, Ooh. my goodness, a little dipsy. A little elevation <laughs> there. <laughs> well, Great hustle. We just said it a few minutes ago. That young man has game, and you saw it right there. And he's hanging his head a little bit because yeah. he missed it, but yeah. the play itself was so athletic. Right. And, you know, he's probably down. He's missed a couple tough, tough layups. Them are tough shots. Here come the birds with 36 seconds to go. Foster out top. He's guarded by Hunter Stecksholte. They'll go back inside to Quatman. Back out to Willie Foster, 26 seconds to go. Birds content to hold the ball. Down 46-29. Danny Holbrook, Scott Mag from Ottawa Glendorf High School. And there is a steal again. And you said it earlier, you can't have those lazy passes. Nope. And they'll take it up. And no foul on Ooh, the Oh, that's play. a heck of a play. I don't know if we got that on camera. Oh but, oh, goodness. Parker, that was unbelievable. He jumped up and he threw the ball on Colin White, who was laying on the ground. I don't know what uh, I, Coach Fick Kill, not happy. I, I, I kind of agree with him. That was a heck of a pay by Carson Parker to jump and go get that. <laughs> I, you probably couldn't see it I because see we were it all blocked because of where we're angle, sitting. Yeah. I'm glad you got to see it. Wow, that was unbelievable. <laughs> Here's Colin White with 10 seconds to go. He's going to bring it out top. They'll clear it out for him. We're at five seconds. Colin White guarded by Quatman. He goes up to the right side, and he knocks it in. Colin White 
as he makes it 48-29 as we go to the half from Ottawa Glandorf High School. The Titans lead 48-29 after one half. You're watching high school basketball on WLSN. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School. Daniel Brooks, Scott Mag. We're at halftime. The Titans lead the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds 48-29. And Scott, you've got some stats over there that might explain how the uh, Titans went on their little run here in the second quarter. Yeah, and, and really, it, there's one that sticks out enormously, but LCC on the half was 11 of 19. Not bad, right? I'm sure right, Coach right, right. Kill take that. They're 0-1 for three-pointers. They're 5 of 7, which is a good thing because they got themselves to the foul line. OG, on the other hand, was two for twos. They were 15 of 24. I'll take that. Four yeah. of six from threes. That's kind of hurt them a little bit. Yeah. They were four or five in the foul, from the foul line. So really, almost a really close game if you look at it. But here's a key stat. LCC, 13 turnovers, OG, five. And when you are turning the ball over at almost three times as much as the other team, Absolutely. that's the reason why you're down almost 20. And uh, Titans had a 32-point quarter to 15. You know, I, I'm sure Coach Kill is okay with the offense of 14 and 15. But like you said in early in the broadcast, their defense is just not quite there. And I think part of that is they took some tough challenge shots. They turned the ball over, which led to dunks, led to trail threes, led to breakout layups. And when you get this, these guys going, the Titans, you know, we talked about poise, patience, and pressure. And that, third, that second quarter, LCC uh, succumbed to all three of them. The pressure, they, they, you know, sometimes I think the freshman got a little, maybe didn't believe in his skills, sure. so he kind of threw the ball away, kind of got some lazy passes, a lot of time lazy passes. And then Carson Parker took some tough shots, again, because I think he wanted to try to get his team back in it. And that lets us some easy baskets. And, and the thing that stands out to me is Lima Central Catholic ran the break really well when they did get a loose ball or, or a rebound, but the length of Ottawa Glandorf at the rim really bothered the birds. Yes, and they stopped throwing the ball in to Bork in the, in the post. Shot goes up, and that's missed. That was number 20. Parker Judy misses the shot. Here come the Titans back down low. They'll kick it back out. This is Hunter Stickshold as he drives the middle. They'll go back to Erford as he goes off the left side, and he's going to be fouled in the paint. Fouls on number 20 for the Birds. Parker Judy, that is his second, team first of the second half. Erford will go to the line, the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken line. Wapak and Delphus, call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. And as I don't know if maybe the uh, listeners at home could hear, but you could hear Coach Kill saying, <laughs> force them to the sideline, and he's right. He doesn't want them to gun the, into the middle of the paint. I love watching Coach Kill coach. Yeah. He is fantastic. It's like when they get a turnover, it's like he feels it. Yeah, he'll he's in it. 50-29, yeah. and they're going to get foul. a foul there Grant immediately Schrader. on Grant Schrader, the 6'1 junior. He kind of collided with the LCC player and he knocks him to the ground. Quatman will take the ball out of bounds. 7.25 to go. Danny Works, Scott Mag from Ottawa Glendorf High School. The Titans lead 50-29. This is Carson Parker as he goes to the middle. Strong move to the right and he's going to be fouled. And that foul is going to go against Theo Mag. 6'7 senior. As Mag kind of got caught there. He had to contest the shot. But Parker so strong as he goes up. Carson Parker goes to the line. He's got 12 on the night for the Birds. He leads them in scoring. He knocks down the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw. He's got 13 to make it 50 to 30. A 20-point lead by the Titans with 7.21 to go. Mag will go to the bench. Parker takes the second free throw and he knocks it down to make it 50 to 31 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. LCG's got to start stringing in some stops here and try to get back in this game. Almost had a turnover there. Stick shoulder, he goes back into Schrader. And Schrader with a nice acrobatic move on the right side as he adjusts his body yeah. to shield off the defender and he knocks it in with his right hand to make it 52-31. And a good job of tacking Bork. Parker knocks down the Dales concrete three-point shot. He makes it 50-34. That gives him 15 on the night. And a good job by Quaman to tack that paint. You know, you, you, you tack it, and then 
the Titans came in and then he got it to the wide open shooter. That was great offense there. White kicks it out to the three point line. And, and White it's does the good. same thing. Caden Nerford, the 6'4 junior, knocks down another Dales Concrete triple to make it 54 34. Erford's got 20 on the night. Erford is really a matchup problem at 6'4, and he can knock that three ball down, and you've got to get out there. He can also put the ball on the floor and yeah. drive to the rim. Yeah, I, I agreed, but he's more dangerous shooting, and, and I know Coach Kill told him, to, I heard him say, run him off the three point line. This is Erford again. He'll go back inside. The ball gets loose. Billy Bork with the loose ball. They'll get it to Foster. Foster brings it down. She kicks it out to K Parker. Judy almost threw that one away. Good decision by holding off on that. Hunter Stexton was lurking to try to steal that one and get himself an easy basket. Foster with the ball, and he's being pressured. Good job by Grant Schrader. Schrader comes across just the lane. Baiting. Yeah, he yeah did. just baiting Bork. Was posting uh, Westrick strong in there, and, and Trader was just kind of lurking in the back, waiting for them to pass, and he was coming to help. Birds will take it out on the side right by the T-Bird bench. They'll get the ball into Carson Parker. He takes another three, tough. falling away. A wow, tough, tough three. One. He knocks down yeah. the Dales concrete three. He's got 17 on the night, and another three-point play for the Birds. 55-37 yeah. with 5.41 to go. I'm sorry, that'll give Parker 20 on the night. I thought he had 20. They just put it back on the board. This is Colin White as he dribble drives to the middle. Up and under. Nice oh, pass. Nice job by White of getting the ball down to number 32, Dave Westrick, and he knocks it in. Makes it 57-37 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here comes Billy Bork running the floor. They tried to push the yeah. ball in. Good hustle. It's down the floor, and everybody's down. And that'll be a jump ball. Jump ball. Ball goes back to the to Titans. Ottawa Glandor. Yeah. That was a good job by Foster to get down there and, and Bork just run off his hands. I think he tried to shoot it before he could catch it. Scott, when you've got a freshman point guard like LCC with Willie Foster, and you've talked a little bit about it, the pressure that he's under right now. What do you tell him as a coach to settle him down and, you know, let him know that he's going to stay on the floor regardless of what he does? Yeah, you just got to tell him just believe in yourself. And, you know, you're going to make mistakes, but you got to learn from it. You know, mistake is something to learn from, really. It's a good thing, especially as a freshman, because you're going to get old, you know, you're going to get become a sophomore and, and things happen. It's just got to learn from it and don't do it again. And there's Colin White as he goes down to the post and he gets fouled and he's going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line for another and one. Yeah. That makes it 59-37 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. I, I kind of like uh, Colin White. He's kind of been settling for jump shots the last couple of games. Tonight he's really, really, really attacking the rim point, and, yeah. and he's having himself a heck of a game. So here come the birds. Foster kicks it out to Quatman. Quatman from the three line and it's good. Matthew Quatman, the sophomore, knocks down the triple. Yeah. Makes it 60 to 40 nice. on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. This is Erford with the ball up top. Swings it over to Schrader. Schrader gets it back. Dribble drive, they'll go back inside. Heck of a pass. <laughs> Dave Westrick knocks it in. Makes it 62 40 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Wow. There's Bork as he goes up for the shot and goes off the side of the rim. Colin White with the rebound. He'll bring it down the middle of the floor. Tries to take it the length. It's stolen away. Carson Parker gets it up to Quadman. Quadman goes up the right side, and he knocks in the deuce to make it 62 to 40 with four minutes to go in the third quarter. This is Hunter Stick showing with the ball over to Colin White. White with a little foul line jumper goes off the end. Carson Parker with the rebound. He'll bring it down for the Birds. 3.45 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Titans lead 62-42. They'll go back into Bork as he goes to the left side. Nice move. Nice job. And they did that in the first quarter. They yeah. went away from it. Right. But if you look at when Bork gets the ball down there, he gets great position. He sure does. And it, what I liked about it was he kind of post up high, and then he kind of walked his man down to get inside the paint. He did a heck of a job to get down there. 
Here's Colin White, a little leaner as he goes and scores. Bork just kind of had his arms up, and he couldn't stop that one. No. And Colin White just leans back and knocks in the deuce, makes it 64-44. This is Quatman with the ball. Tried to go to Foster, goes out of bounds, and they'll go back to the Titans with 3.08 yeah. to go in the third quarter. And board. Foster tried to dribble a, dribble a pass instead of trying to catch it. That's so wholesale changes here for the, for the OG Titans as Ty Buckland checks into the game. And they're going to take a timeout of the four. With 3.08 to go, the Titans lead 64-44. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School. With 3.08 to go, the Titans lead by 20. It's 64-44. to 44. Only scoreboard with 3.08 to go. This is Ty Bucklin as he's guarded by Foster, and he's really putting the pressure on it. Almost throws it. He does throw the ball away. Here comes Foster on the right side, takes it up, and he knocks it in. So a nice job by Foster to get the turnover as Coach Frank Kill implores him to continue playing oh, defense, and he is causing all kinds of problems as he gets another loose ball. So Ty Bucklin being guarded by Foster, and they're going to take a timeout. They're not happy at all with that. So with 2.45 to go, we'll step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School, where the Titans continue to lead 64-46, and Coach McLaughlin takes the time out there, Scott. He's not happy with the uh, ball handling right now of the Titans. Yeah, absolutely. And, and what happened is, you know, they kind of flipped the script, sure. right? LCC's yeah, right. three for three from threes. They forced four turnovers for the Titans to one for themselves. You know, they're more aggressive. They're attacking. The only difference is Colin White was scoring at will there for a while, and uh, but they're flipping the script. There's a nice job by Theo Mag to get in the passing lane there, bring the ball down the floor, kick it back out. Steck Schulte with the ball out top. He's guarded by Foster. They'll swing it around, go back to the left side, go into Mag. Mag guarded in the post as he tries to spin and score. He kicks it back out. Triple drive on the right side. Titans taking their time with the ball, 2.19 to go. They'll go back to Mag as he tries to go baseline, gets cut off, and does a great job of moving the ball around the perimeter. Ball went up, and there's a foul, and they're going to get Carson Parker on the foul. Good job by Brad Mag. He's seen an opening and attacked it. He gets rewarded as he gets uh, two foul shots here. So Mag will go to the line, the Lee's famous recipe line. It's 2.11 to go, and the Titans up 64-46. Colin White's going to check back into this game along with Kate Nerford, the two leading scorers for the Titans. They'll check in. Theo Mag and, excuse me, Ty Buckland will take a seat with 2.11 to go. <laughs> Students all dressed in uh, green and red for the holiday season, Scott. They've yeah. got their Santa hats on. Here comes LCC down the left side. This is Quatman with the ball, guarded by Colin White. Foster out top, and now White will switch over on him. Nice cutting down the lane by Carson Parker, and he gets rewarded with the ball, and he scores, and he'll go to the line. That's a good job by uh, Parker to slip that screen and I didn't see Quatman made the pass, yeah, I believe, yeah, and, he, and he made a heck of a pass, put he a heck of a dime there to, to put it on uh, Parker's hand, and when Parker gets that close, he knows what to do with it, well, he, and he goes through people yeah. down there. He did a great job of setting the screen, and as soon as yeah. he set it, he moved to the middle, yeah. and he was wide open, and not only that, he seals his man off and makes an easy he shot. sure does. So he goes to the line, and he misses that one. Colin White will rebound with 153 to go. Titans lead 64-48. There's Ooh. a steal by Foster as he goes up the left side. Travel. White tries to block it, but he they missed the shot. But a great job by Carson Parker of following up, and he knocks it in. Carson Parker has got 24, and, excuse me, 22 on the night. And don't look now, but it's within 14. 24, I correct my math there that Carson Parker has. You're right, it is a 14-point game. And the Birds have done it with some really good defense. Yes, they have. And, and effort, man. They, they're not giving up. There's Erford from three, and he knocks another one down. Caden Erford, the 6'4 junior. Every time the Titans need a big bucket, he's come through. It makes it 67-50. Here comes that pressure from the Titans as they get a, try to get a loose ball, and they do. 
and they knock in the deuce. Steck Schulte gets the loose ball, and that was set up by Theo Mag, who gets the loose ball and gets it into Steck Schulte. Here come the birds again. Nice pass. Judy wasn't. Here comes Mag with the breakaway, and he's going to hammer it home. Theo Mag knocks in the dunk to make it 71 50, and Coach Kill's going to take a timeout. He is not happy about something over there. I and think he won a technical from Theo Mag hanging on the rim, and that's what he's. That's what he wanted. I don't think he wanted a timeout. He wanted a technical on Mag, but I... I didn't see him hang on the rim that long. I mean, yeah. not long enough to get a technical. No, I don't think so either. Frank wasn't happy. No, he's not. I think he wanted to slow down the tempo there. Uh, I think so, too. <laughs> well, maybe his, maybe Theo's mom at home is watching. <laughs> can be happy with that one because he maybe took out a little bit of frustrations. I hope she's listening. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope she is, too. I hope your money was well spent, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, too. Uh, Maybe this will make her feel better. My colleague, Scott Mag has got a relationship with one Theo Mag. He is his father here, so he's Ooh, a proud Nice father. job. Way to follow. <laughs> and his mom couldn't be in attendance tonight, so we're hoping she's getting to listen and watch. So We'll get a text here soon, Scott. <laughs> I know I will. <laughs> Hunter Steck Schulte will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe line with 30 seconds to go, and the Titans lead 71-50. Danny Hilbert, Scott Mag from the Supreme Court here at Robert Hermiller Gymnasium on the campus of Ottawa Glendorf High School. A great rivalry game between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. This one being dominated right now by Ottawa Glendorf. But LCC's played hard tonight, Scott. They've, they've kept it close, and as you said, 30 seconds ago we were at a 14-point game. Yeah. But it's so quick how the Titans can can um, erase that no, deficit absolutely. because they score in bunches. This is Foster's guarded out top by Hunter Steck Schulte with 20 seconds to go. <laughs> Foster tries to go, Ooh. kicks it back out to Quatman, and they're going to say that Foster was fouled on the yeah. dribble drive. And at, it's very tough to keep him in front of you because he's got some shake and he can get past you. And, and what I really like about him is – he has distributed the ball really well yes. coming into the paint. You know, he, he's given up. He could probably shoot it if he wanted to, but he's getting guys better looks. Well, he's a point guard first. Oh, yeah, my absolutely. goodness. That was nice. And Carson Parker with the fadeaway. Ball comes down to Colin White. No, he, well, Foster is a point guard first. Yeah. He wants to distribute that ball, and he is cat quick, and we've seen all of his moves tonight. Here comes Colin White with five seconds to go. He goes to the middle of the free throw line. Shot goes up, and it's good. Colin White knocks down the jumper. And that makes it 75 to 50 as we go to the fourth quarter. From the Supreme Court, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans lead 75 50. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSC. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School, where we start the fourth quarter here. The Titans lead 75 50. Stay tuned after our broadcast. Check out on WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner, Stolly Insurance Hustle Award. As Coach Mag and I will give out a Stolly Hustle Award. We've got a few candidates right now for the Titans as uh, Caden Erfurt's put in 23 and Colin White 22 tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, those two guys have, uh, that basket's pretty big for both of them tonight. Yeah, they're having a nice night. They sure are. They're shooting the ball really well. Quatman will take it out as they have not got the clock started. So, yeah, there we go. I was going to say, they, they noticed that right away, and they stopped play, and they're going to start that over again. Not real sure what happened, but it looks like a technical glitch, so they'll probably kick it back to... Are they going to kick it back to 8 and start over, or are they just going to keep it at 7.58? I don't know why they. It, yeah, I don't know why they stop. It, 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 if it, you're going to stop, they probably should go back to eight and start yeah, in the middle again. I think I guess. that's what he's waiting on. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. It, it, it didn't. It had nothing. It didn't affect the game in any measure no. at all. It's gonna take now two that, seconds. All. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't understand. No. <laughs> I don't understand that. But hey, hey, we're in the booth. Yep. Oh, Ooh, near steal. And, and again, if you're LCC, you're like you had the ball in, and you, and all of a sudden you get it stopped. This is Foster. He's guarded by, <coughs> excuse me, Hunter Steck Schulte as he brings it up. 7.49 to go here in the game. Carson Parker out on the left side. He's had a heck of a game tonight for the Birds. He's got 24 to lead all scores in the game. 
as they try to push the ball down to the block. This is Foster, goes to the middle of the floor. Nice jumper, it goes off the back iron, or front iron, excuse me. It comes down to Hunter Steckshaw, he kicks it out to Colin White. Colin White will go down the middle, kicks it out. They'll go back to Erford out top. Mag tries to get post position down low. He's guarded by Billy Bork. This is Colin White up top. Ottawa Glendorf content to run their sets with yep. a 25-point lead and seven minutes to go here until the end of this one. This is Mag backdoor cut by White and a nice job yeah. as Theo Mag turns the ball and goes base, or excuse me, Colin White goes baseline. Mag hits him with a nice bounce pass, but unfortunately Colin White misses the pass. Well, I think he was, pass. I think uh, Foster was holding him a little bit <laughs> there right. and, and uh, he didn't get it. This is Theo Mag guarded by Bork at the foul line. Goes back to Colin White. Mag with the, oh my goodness, did you see the give and go, Scott? Yeah, and that was impressive. And a great job and by Colin, Theo Mag. Yeah, what a great give and go by White. And I think Mom's starting to feel a little bit better right now. <laughs> I think she is, Scott. Good for you guys. <laughs> Here come the birds as the pressure continues out top. Bork is guarded by Theo Mag. Ball goes in the middle. Nice cut by Judy. Up. Nice uh, job by those, Parker Judy. I'm sorry, that's oh, by no, Tafflinger. Right. Taff My Tafflinger. bad. Good, good cut, Tafflinger. I apologize. Three to go. 77-52. Ball almost went out of bounds. Goes down on the floor. Quatman will pick it up and he'll bring it down for the birds. Danny Hobart, Scott Mag from Ottawa Glendorf High School. This is. Parker from way outside, and it's going to wow. drop in. He's having himself a night, isn't Carson he? Carson Parker 27? has 27 to lead all scorers. Are you kidding me? He is having a fantastic night for the Birds. This is White as he goes up the right side, contested by Bork. Or excuse me, Burke, but uh, Colin White just muscles the ball yeah. up. And he and makes it 79-55 right. on and the ultimate score. And the thing is, is he took the bump and he kept his shoulders square and made that. That's, that's impressive. Not many people around can do that. A lot of times... You get bumped off and you get your don't get your keep your shoulders square and you miss that. But he kept his shoulders square and knocked that one down. That was quite an athletic move there. This is Parker again from the three. Another Dale's concrete three as he misses that one. He hasn't missed very many tonight. No, he hasn't. This is Erford from the right side. Nobody comes out to defend him as he goes into the lane and he's gonna get fouled hard, but nobody came out and contested the ball. No. And that's not gonna make Coach Kill very happy as he had the entire right side to himself. He sure did. I think they lost him. So Erford will go to the line. Caden Erford with a fantastic night for the Titans. He's got 23 as he goes to the line, tries to add two more to his total. As good as night as both of those two guys, they've been outscored by Parker, who's <laughs> right. had himself a 20. That tells you how much, how well he is. The only bad thing is, is now uh, Erford and White each got 24, but right. <laughs> Parker's got 27. Next closest guy's got nine. So yeah, that, we talked about that's that. That's why this difference. Yeah. Yep. Not a lot of bench scoring from the Birds, so he knocks in both of them, and that gives him 24 on the night. And it's not because of lack of effort, because I'm telling you, these guys are playing hard, and as Foster's starting to get himself loose a little bit. Foster with the little baby jumper there as he knocks it in, makes it 81-57, five minutes to go. Which I think this game is, you know, at the beginning, that second quarter just got kind of fast and got away from him. Now he's a little bit more comfortable. He, he That press ain't really bother him as much, so, you know, he, it was a learning experience for him, and it's going to play off later on. It was a heck of a play by Quatman. Wow to get around him and get that steal. Here comes Foster with the ball, 444 to go. Birds down 81-57. Nice Foster pass. Into Burke in the middle, and Burke misses the little baby hook. And they'll wow. kick it back out to Erford as he runs the ball. Down to Theo Mag as he goes up left-handed, and he's going to be fouled. And Colin White with the athletic rebound. <laughs> Athleticism is on display here in the Supreme Court yeah. tonight. And Willie Foster is, I don't know if he did tweaked his back or something, but He's kind of over here on the side. And we are going to get wholesale changes yes. here as they both teams are emptying the bench, which we like to see everybody get a chance to play in this rivalry game. Mag goes to the least famous recipe line and knocks down the first one. And that'll be it for Colin White tonight and for Erford. As Erford goes out with 25 and White with 24. Tafflinger is out. 
Theo Mag has nine. He tries to get this one to go down. He'll be in double figures on the night for the Titans if he does that. Shot is up. And Theo Mag has 10 on the night. And that'll conclude his night tonight as he'll go to the bench. Nice night for the <clears throat> six, seven senior. 428 to go, 8357. We got lots of new names to learn now as <laughs> both teams have emptied their bench. Three ball on the way, another Dale's concrete three ball goes up. And that's number 32, Cole Gross, mm -hmm. the senior, as he misses the three-point shot. He'll go to the line for three. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Everybody's staying around this, this one tonight. Yeah. The, the, the gym is still pretty packed and a few people straggling out, but uh, most people staying for the end of this one. This is the second one there. Entering the game now for the Titans, number 14, Ryan Ross. Uh, Grady Tomasis checks in. Grady Tomasis. Four thirteen to go. Titans lead 83-57. So what's Coach Kill tell his kids after this one? Now, you look at the score and you're going to say blowout, but you and I both know the game was yeah. was more was closer than the score indicates. Well, and they got to maybe go back and watch the tape a little bit because they had some key bad turnovers led to easy baskets as well as some very difficult shots that led to some transition shots. And then when they got behind the eight ball, it was very Tough for them to fight back. LCC will move on the season to three and four. The Titans of Ottawa Glendorf will move to eight and two. And they've got a tough WBL stretch ahead of them. Yes. And I think uh, the freshman point guard got a, himself a little bit better. He grew up a little bit tonight, I think. Um, like you said, he only has six varsity games in him. I think he got better tonight. He, he, he got a more confidence. He, he shows some shake to get by someone. He handled the ball really, really well that second half. And, I, I you know, there's there's a lot to build on. It's just nice, nice pass by Ryan Ross. Dump pass down to Dave yes. Westrick. He's Westrick's, had himself a heck of a game, he too. Yes, you're absolutely right, Scott. Dave Westrick has played a really nice game yes, he did. for the Titans. He's, he's got eight on the night, and it seems like he should have more than that. <laughs> yeah, and he's done a good job. Theo Mag got himself a little bit of foul trouble, and Dave came in and scored some easy baskets, played some good interior defense as well. So. Titans are going to need that from him down the stretch. So it was good for him and good for the Titans. And try to get another player in the game. This is number one, Ty oh, Buckland. Because Buck. yep. they'll take a, well, they call it a timeout. So they're not going to take him over to the benches. They'll just get Ty Buckland in the game. Now, I know it's early in the season, Scott, but from what you've seen from the Titans, can they make another run at, at Dayton again this year? I know I know that region was really tough. Uh, they have all the pieces. They've got you know shooters. They've got ball handlers. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, they they got they got the pieces. And I said it on air, and I think earlier, and uh, maybe it was a, on radio or something. But I said I think the Titans are better than they were last year's skill set because you know Caden Erford's coming around. He's starting to shoot the ball. Colin White's obviously better. <laughs> yes. It's not no no. no deterrent to the last year's seniors because they were very, very good too. Absolutely. The only thing, the difference from last year to this year is the depth because Titans won eight, nine deep and they didn't lose a beat because anybody came in and they had extra guys. They had a defender, yes. they had a shooter, they had all the pieces last year, right? They had, if he wanted to go this way, you could go this way. The Titans are kind of five, seven deep, you know, a couple extra guys off the bench. But like I said, the starters I think are better uh, they got another year of experience. Uh, they had that deep run, like you said. The only thing is, is, is the depth has to be there for the Titans to make that deep run because you never know. Like tonight, Theo Mag got himself in foul trouble. Dave Wetcher come in did a great and, and did a great job. You know, that stuff like that, what happens when Colin White gets in foul trouble? Is Kate Nerfer going to take over? Is Theo Mag? Is Hunter Stexley? Somebody has got to step over the scoring, and they haven't 
been tested that way yet. Sure. So, I, and it's no no knock on last year's team. I just think they are better. First five, but not not as deep or as the team because last year they had a lot of pieces they could throw at you, interchanging parts. Yes, yeah. Nice job by Sal Guajeni going to the rim, going out the left side. You Were you in attendance for the Cincinnati, Princeton, and the Lutheran West games? Uh, yes, sir. What what did they do that bothered the Titans? Uh, was they, it their they, quickness? Was it yeah, athleticism? Yeah, that was the athleticism and as well as they, you know, uh, they put a bigger guy on Colin White and didn't allow him to get sure. any easy shots. That that hurt a little bit, and as well as their defensive pressure. It kind of affected the Titans a little bit in the full court with their quickness. Ty Buckland. But there's not a lot of teams around. Right, right, right. That, uh, that could do that. Nice job by number 14. Yeah. And, you know, Lutheran West, it was, it was a tie score. They just missed a layup at the end, and then the Titans wanted to foul, and they smacked this guy three times, and they didn't call it, and he, they hit a wide-open jumper, which Tyson knew was coming. Sure. But... You know, it, it, the, the lose on the last second shot to them, who has won like 27 of 28 <laughs> games. Right. And then no Princeton, uh, they had a shot to win, and they only lost by one. So they've got two losses by four points. Right? They lost by a three late, and then one point, or was it two? I think two points yes. to Princeton. So they lost two games by five points, and uh, everything had a chance to tie and send an overtime against Princeton. And like I said, uh, Lutheran was a last second shot that they made right at the buzzer. So the Titans were in it. It was not like they were getting blown out by two very, very athletic teams that are going to win a lot of games. So 30 seconds to go. This one is in the books as the Ottawa Landorf Titans lead 88 to 59. At one point here in the third quarter, the lead was down to 14. The Titans pressure, and they get some big time shots and knock down some easy jumpers. Here come the Birds with a breakaway, and they knock that one in. Make it 88-61. And that should do it with six seconds to go. And there you have it, my friend. The Ottawa Glandorf Titans defeat the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds 88-61. When we come back, we'll have our Stolly Hustle Award. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Ottawa Glandorf High School, where the Titans beat the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds 88-61. Our Stolly Hustle Award winner tonight. You can check out the WSN YouTube page for highlights of tonight's winner. Scott, who do we got for our Stolly Hustle winner tonight? Well, I, you know, I, there's a bunch of guys in the 20 <laughs> right, range, but right. I think uh, Kay Nerford, by hitting some big threes and allowed, see what, what happens is when he does that, that opens up driving lanes for Colin White to get into the paint because they have to stay with him, right? They can't help off of him, and he made some big threes as well as he did a great job attacking the rim tonight and got himself some easy buckets inside there as well. So, you know, if, if he can give them 10 to 16 points, like we were talking about sure. earlier, yes. that makes the Titans so much better. And if he can shoot the ball, the teams can't play a zone because – you know they he's got. A zone they, right. Yeah, he's yeah. got a zone buster, so that also helps the Titans. And and good for him because he he's had some games where he's been hot, and he had some games where he couldn't, you know, couldn't buy a basket. But for tonight, he he was uh, he was on fire, and for that, he is the Stolle Hustle Award winner. So Caden Erford, who averages 11 points a game, gets 25 to lead the Titans. And he did a great job, as you said, and they're going to need him down the stretch. We also look at, for Lima Central Catholic, uh, Parker had 27, and we talked about him. Just a fantastic effort in a losing display. Yeah, and absolutely. He, he made some big shots for oh, them. He tried dude. to keep them in them, but he, he just didn't have enough help yes, with some yes. shots. And, and, again, it's no no knock on those other guys. It's just they just they struggle to put the ball in the basket, and he was on fire, and he took most of the shots, and they did a good job. I, I tell you, I was super impressed about how hard they played, and that is going to reward them down the, down the road again because they only have a, they've only played six games. Titans got ten games in on, on, on their season so far. It, that, that hustle, that willingness to play hard for each other, and I'm telling you, Foster, 
not Foster. Yeah, Willie Foster. Yes, he's yeah. got some shake, and he can get he by does. people. He's going to get some people some easy baskets, and that, that's going to come, and, and he's going to get more confident in what he can do. And, and I'm telling you, that, that team's going to be pretty good down the road. I, 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 I'm, I'm just saying, you, you know, get the T-Birds early because they're going to be a lot, lot better as, as they go. And some of these guys have still got their football legs, and it, it takes a while. It takes sure. a month. It, it, it takes a little bit uh, for some guys. And, you know, when they threw the ball inside to Bork, they, they can do some stuff that way. He, he, he had himself a, a pretty good game. But I think because they don't have that – identity offensively yet yes, right? right they they didn't know like do they want to be throw the ball in him and go through him or do they want to go through they want to go through foster they want to go through somebody else i don't think they know that yet because again how many practices do they have we said that in, in early in the broadcast sure. we didn't know how many practices they got and then when you have to play all these games so quick boom 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 you don't have time to to knock off three four practices to work on some of this stuff and, and to figure out who you are and I think that I think they found out that they can play hard they can they can get up and down and that press really didn't hurt them much the second half because they learned a lot in that second quarter in the first quarter they hung with them it's, it's just they're going to get there but it's just going to take them a little while and that'll wrap it up from Ottawa Glandorf High School. The Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds fall to 3-4. and four. Ottawa Glandorf moves to 8-2 and two on the season. The Titans win it 88-61. For Scott Mag, I'm Danny Holbrook and our entire WSN crew saying God bless and we'll see you next time.